Hello and welcome to your second year of confirmation preparation here at Christ the King Catholic Church. This is your lecture for the weekend of October 10th through 11th, 2020. If you'll please join me in an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Today we're going to go over several things that you need to know for this year. Uh, we'll introduce you to your catechists. We'll introduce you to the program we're going to use. We'll go over your saint projects. We'll go over your sponsor. And we'll also uh, do some homework. So the catechists for this year's confirmation preparation include myself, Yvette Ramirez, Miss Ramona Rodriguez, Miss Luz Hernandez, Miss Silvia Garcia, Mr. Felix San Miguel, Mr. Abel Pardo, Ms. Adela Mellado, Ms. Maria Lopez, Mr. Hector Bartolón, who will be taking two classes this year, Ms. Maria Flores, Ms. Patricia Loarca, and she will be assisted by Ms. Cristina Velázquez. This year's preparation will include the usage of the program called Chosen, Your Journey Toward Confirmation. There are 24 sessions. We must have your email address for you to participate. You will meet with your teachers to discuss the lessons. For this program, you will receive a workbook, a parent's guide, a sponsor's guide, You'll receive instructions for picking these up uh, sometime late next week. We expect the sessions for this program to start next weekend on the 17th and 18th. Uh, watch the, our Facebook page and your email for instructions on how to access the program. Throughout the year, you will be meeting with your teacher to go over the chosen sessions and to discuss any additional topics as necessary. In the near future, you will receive instructions from your teacher as to how often they will be meeting with you, how they will meet with you, and what they expect from you. Also, be aware there are quizzes at the end of each chosen session. You'll need to complete those quizzes, and then you'll need to take a screenshot of your completion of each quiz and forward it to your teacher via email or text. For your SAINT projects, the information that follows is regarding that. Uh, why do we pick SAINT names? Um, if you might recall uh, some of the major characters in the Bible, uh, such as Abram and Saul, when God gave them their missions, they were renamed. Abram was named Abraham, and Saul became Paul. So as you begin your journey as a Catholic with this final step of initiation, uh, it seems fitting that you would have a new name to go along with it. So the saint that you want to uh, pick should be a person that you want to be like, uh, someone who's a model or an inspiration. Uh, don't forget your saint is also someone that can pray for you from heaven. They're your intercessor. Uh, when you consider picking your saint, you can look at it just like if you wanted to be someone famous now, some great sports star or some great musician. 
just think of someone that you want to be like that follows God. You might want to conduct some research before you pick your saint name. Um, go ahead and think outside the box. You know, there's always, yes, the Virgin Mary and St. Jude, uh, but there are thousands of Catholic saints. They are all patron saints for some cause. Um, so if there's anything that interests you, look up a saint for that interest. I've had a student in the past that loved to ride motorcycles. They went and looked, and sure enough, there was a saint, patron saint for motorcyclists. So search your soul, then search the internet, and find a saint name that's meaningful to you. When you provide us with your saint name, make sure that you're specific. Um, a lot of the young ladies like to choose the Virgin Mary. We usually ask you which one. Uh, there is only one Virgin Mary, but she has several uh, different causes. Uh, you can look up Mary, the mother of Jesus. You can look up Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Lourdes. Um, there's several others. Uh, same goes for other saint names, St. Thomas, there's St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Thomas the Apostle, and St. Thomas More. So be specific when you pick a saint. You'll need to know exactly which one you want. Your due dates on your saint projects. No later than October 31st, we will need your saint name. Email your saint name to your teacher and to the email that's provided here. Uh, on that email, we'll need your name and your saint name. The actual project is not due until December 5th. Once you turn in your saint name to us and it's been reviewed and approved, you will be sent the instructions on how to complete the project. Next thing I want to cover with you is your sponsor. Uh, you will have a sponsor for your confirmation. They do have responsibilities. First and foremost, their role is to provide you with prayerful support and guidance. Uh, they should be there during the entire process, not just at the ceremony. They are making a lifelong commitment to you. They're like a second parent. They'll be your spiritual guides. You, as a candidate, should put thought into who your sponsor will be. It's a choice that you need to make. Uh, you can ask for guidance from your parents, uh, but this is someone that you feel will guide you well in your Catholic faith. When you consider someone for a sponsor, they must meet the following qualifications. They have to be Catholic. They cannot be Lutheran. They cannot be Methodist. They have to be Catholic. They also have to be at least 16 years of age. They must have all three sacraments of initiation in the Catholic Church. And if they are married, they must be married by the Catholic Church. Please remember, you only have one sponsor for confirmation. The name of your sponsor is due on December 12th. You'll be receiving a form to complete their information. Your sponsor will also receive a commitment form to complete and return. We've had a lot of questions regarding the Mass. Mass is still important. You can still attend Mass in person if you feel comfortable doing so. We do have COVID-19 protocols in place. If you don't want to attend Mass in person, please watch it online. The church live streams the Mass on Facebook. You can also watch any other Catholic Mass online. Uh, your teacher may assign homework related to the Mass, and it must be turned in to your teacher. 
I have some additional information for you regarding a few other things. Uh, the first of those is the, your retreats. Uh, there will be a retreat to make up the retreat that we missed last year. There will also be a retreat for this year. The dates and times for those retreats will be provided as soon as possible. The first retreat will more than likely be online and in English. Your community service hours. Yes, they are still required. We have not determined exactly how many hours, uh, but do go ahead and get started on those if you have somewhere where you can serve that's safe. Uh, we have some ideas that we're working on. Uh, once those are more a little more concrete, we will send you that information. Uh, if you have any suggestions on any community service that can be done, you can email that to the email provided. And the following information is very important. Our main method of communication with you, your parents, and your sponsor will be through our Facebook page, through email, by text, and by telephone. Please make sure we have your, that we have email addresses for anyone who needs information throughout the year. And please make sure we have current telephone numbers for your parents. If you have a question or concern, contact your teacher first. If you need additional assistance, you or your parent can contact me directly at the phone number and email provided below. Keep in mind, I may not respond right away, but I will try and respond within 24 hours. The CCE program calendar provided by Deacon Cano on our Facebook page applies to our confirmation program. Additional dates of importance have already been given to you in this presentation. Any additional dates will be provided via the Facebook page or email. Again, your teacher will let you know how often and how they will meet with you to go over the lessons and the sessions. For your homework, there is a link at the bottom of this YouTube page for you to complete for the Mass for this weekend. Also, I want you to sit with your parents and talk to them about their Catholic faith. Ask them about their confirmation. Ask them about their confirmation name. And if you can, get any pictures from your baptism or from their confirmation or any religious ceremony that they may have taken part in. Again, if you have any questions, you have my email and my phone number. Thank you, and have a good weekend.